You're such an asshole. Hello, children. We got a clarity test request. If you have a clarity test request, you can send that to assholeconsulting.com. We got that. Uh, young man writes, hey, Cappy, how much for a clarity test on James Alsup? Please keep me anonymous if you do. All right, you paid, so I do it. So I looked up. Here we are on the Wikipedia. Uh, James Orion Alsup, born 1995. So he is, what is he? He's Five. He's 25 years old. American far-right political commentator, podcaster, former YouTube person, and also described as a white supremacist. Okay, is he really, though? I keep getting called racist all the time. I mean, is this what Wikipedia says? Or, you know, what did he do? Did he vote Republican too many times? I. This is where Wikipedia loses me because it's, it's you know, who sets it up? It's, a, it's biased to the left. I just... I don't know. He could be. That's like neo-Nazi here. Right? Does he hate Jews? I don't know. Uh, he is steady. He prefers the term American nationalist. All right. Well, I've heard people delineate that before. I am also an American nationalist. I like the nation of America. I like freedom. I, or or does that? Ha or is it like uh, other terms that have now have different meanings, like feminism, MGTOW, Black Lives Matter? Those words have nothing to do with their uh, literal interpretation. You know, Men going their own way. Oh, okay. Well, there's a lot of guys in the MGTOW community that are actual misogynists. Feminism. Femi equal treatment men and women. You're not going to get people arguing on that. What? So what, 2% of women actually believe the equal treatment of women? Everyone else is like, well, we want special rights and privileges. All right, so that's misandry, right? So that's got a tainted name to it now. Black lives matter. Of course, black lives do matter. The organization, get your fucking fake commie parading ass out of here. How dare you, you you hide behind a race to advocate social, which is just theft, All right? So, you know, American man, well, what does that mean? Well, you liked America? Or does that have a new meaning now? He's a member of the American Identity Movement, a white nationalist and neo-Nazi organization. Do I? Okay, well, let's, let's go to, you know, they provide the sources here. NBC News, I'm sorry, Newsweek, I don't trust that. And NBC News, those are all, I don't trust the mainstream media. They could be right, but they've lost my faith. When the white Hispanic, <laughs> what's this, George Zimmerman, uh, and and we bleached him out. Yeah, I mean, you got. I mean, all, uh, Fox News has had this too. But all you mainstream outlets, you've you've been caught with your pants down so many times. I don't believe a, a freaking thing you say. Not a word. He currently copied podcast for the neo Nazi, the right stuff. Is the oh, is it? Hang on, is it? Who said this? Right wing watch. That's like the Southern Poverty Law Center accusing you of being racist or bigoted or a Nazi. It doesn't mean anything. It probably means you're not. So, so far, I have no opinion of this guy because like, like your nervous system, the media is supposed to be the nervous system of the citizenry. You're supposed to figure it's the fourth branch of government. What's going on? Your nervous system is out of whack. Ain't nobody telling you the truth no more. So if it's true he's a white supremacist and a neo-Nazi, he doesn't like Jews, yeah, I probably don't like this guy. But is that what leftist media people are saying about him? So I still don't know anything about this guy. And the right stuff, I I think uh, Forney mentioned that. Uh, 2015, Alsop was elected president of Washington State University's chapter of the co College Republicans. So 2015... 20 years old. I already I don't like that because he's running for office. I don't like that. There should be no college any political party. None of you should be. You should be studying, you idiots. I always got to kick a student government. Oh, we're the student government. I'll oh, get that. Work. Get out of here. Just get out of here. It even happened in high school. We're running for high school student body. Well, the teachers, is it democracy great? They're, le they're learning to be a bunch of professional politicians and never work a fucking day in their life. So that's going against them. Also, a night at Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, mainly to record the events on his YouTube channel. After the rally turned violent, he resigned as president of the college Republicans at WSU in 20 before being reelected later in November, same year, as unable to take his superior university. He was not set to graduate. What's his degree in? <clears throat> What's his degree in? June 2018, so he was 23 at the time, elected to the minor position of precinct committee officer. Oh, see, 
I know this isn't like I went to law school and then I worked for a judge. But he's going right right into politics. Uh, you reject Alsup from the party. The position has been stripped, including his right to vote. So I'm going to go with the Whitman County Republican Central Committee. They voted to eject him from the party, so he must have said something that probably was disagreeable and did not fit the Republican Party's platform. And so I'm going to... That's the first bit of empirical evidence that this guy might actually be a neo-Nazi. That something that you might say about him might be true. Not a bunch of leftists on the internet said, this guy's a Nazi. Dude, that's every day. Everybody's a Nazi unless you're a communist. <clears throat> Do, do, do. Early life, Beaverton, graduating. Uh, the Huffington Post. Okay, you know, I'm sorry, I don't believe the Huffington Post. All right. Alsup, Alsup. James Orion Alsup. Maybe I can find degree. What did he study? Oh, give me a second here, guys. Just give me a second. The life of an asshole consultant. <clears throat> More. Uh... Okay, okay, campaign manager, Rand Paul, sales associate, Radio Shack, bachelor's degree in political science. Nope, pre-law. Nope, no, 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 mm -mm, no. Okay, uh, so we got that. Glad I did that. Now, how the hell do I get out of this? No, no. Here, all right. So he graduated 23. Was that two years ago? So two years ago, what's he doing now? Unite the right, election to political party position, social media. <clears throat> uh, boy, Instagram and Facebook, they deleted all that. Filing numerous dangerous organizations, demonetized. Channel had more than 450,000 subscribers. And he was... Uh, a podcast, her podcaster. I, that okay. That's not a job. I'm I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I admit I don't have a real job. It takes work. I understand it, but this is that this is not a real job. What we do, I put this on par with with journalism, and we're not even real journalists. But then again, the journalists aren't even real journalists. I mean, this is on par with we're just we're just uh, pundits, frankly. But I kind of put in my duties and my dues, work at security and uh, what else? Ballroom dancing and writing books and, uh, oh, yeah, that whole banking thing. Uh, all right. Did he come from wealth, early life? <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. I'm going to assume not. I knew, not, I knew a lot of guys like this in the college Republicans back in college. And they didn't come from wealth. Um, I'm going to assume he didn't come from wealth. I could be wrong. It, it's a mood at this point. So there's no point against him there. He did major in stupid stuff. Uh, the Radio Shack stint, no. No real world working experience. Volunteering and then the podcast. I mean, you may be. So worthless degree, no real world working experience. What's he doing now? I hope he's working a real job, but I don't know about that. <clears throat> I'm going to assume he's not. I'm going to assume he can let me know otherwise if he's working. Or even if it's like, you know, he could be back working Radio Shack. That's fine. Whatever he's doing to make some money. Okay. That's a real job. I'll tell you, but it's three. You know, and if, and uh, I, now let's be actually honest too. It's during the coronavirus pot, uh, uh, crisis. <clears throat> so it might be hard to find a job. So uh, well, two and a half, should we ballpark it with an asterisk of special circumstances? Do I want to have a beer with him? No, I don't want to have a beer with a political science major who's a quarter century old. Should he run for office? No. 
That's the last people you want running for office of political science majors because that is a declaration at the age of 17 when you declare your major that you think you're smart enough to run a country. Comments. Yeah, Renee, no problem. Do I know David Icke? No, I don't know David Icke. All right, that's it. Questions, answers, that's consulting.com. I think we got two more. We'll see you guys later. Toodles. Oh, competent, man. There we go. There we go. Radio Shack went bankrupt in 2015, 2017. All right. So maybe he got laid off. Um, okay. Well, there we go. All right. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.